Hello, my name is Mars, and today I will be playing Killer Frequency. This is a horror puzzle game where you play as a radio talk show host who finds himself responsible for tracking down a serial killer that is wreaking havoc on a small town. It's essentially a detective game, which is very exciting for me because while detective games are one of my favorite genres of all time, I've never really played one on this channel. I, I think this is also one of those detective games where depending on your actions, people can live or die. You can save people or have them die, which I think counts as a failure. But, uh, you know, no knowing my, uh, depending on how puzzly the puzzles are, I might be seeing a lot of people die. So let's, let's just see how that goes. Uh, just a quick like blanket content warning for the series. This is a horror game, and I think the horror is generally styled like a comedic pastiche of 80s slasher movies. Um, but there, there is going to be like audio of people being killed, like over the phone. You'll hear them being being killed. So if that sounds like something that would upset you, then proceed with caution. With that out of the way, though, I think I'm just gonna get started. New game. Fun loading screen. Move with WASD. Oh, I gotta turn on my, my keyboard. Move camera with, where are we starting out in an alley? Press, press mouse button to pick up objects. Ooh, can we open the dumpster? Cool. Are we like starting off playing as the killer? That's insane. You can hold two objects. Swap objects between your hands with uh, the, the wheel. Drop objects, throw objects, hold to place object, release one in a valid location. Okay. Drop object. Uh, R to throw objects. Okay. Can't imagine I'll be doing much throwing if I'm confined to a radio station. Am I going this way or this way? That doesn't say anything. Can I go around here? Spooky. No thanks. Can I, I can't pick this bottle up. Inspecting objects. Press E to begin inspecting. Excuse me, can I pick this up? Hold and move. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's pretty standard for games where you can inspect objects. Press E to exit. Okay. I'll take this in here. Can I go inside? And also, can I explore down this way a bit? <laughs> the audio is already terrifying. Oh my god. You can hold to, okay, we already got, okay, this is where we came from. This is where I wanted to go. Bolted door. Disgusting mass mattress. Fuse box. Why am I opening the fuse box? Um, can I? Oh, there's no fuse. I forget how fuse boxes work. I'm not an electrical person. Can I run or anything? No, I tried holding shift. Um, am I trying to get into the studio? Um, oh, is that like, uh, am I supposed to go further this way? I don't know why I assumed that was the studio, probably because the, what is it? KFAM mug was on the stool, the doorstep. The stoop, that's the Oh, there's a radio. No, it's a milk box. Uh, opening doors. Yep. Um, notepad with nothing written on it. Uh-oh. Are we gonna get murdered? Oh. Hi. I recognize that mask. 
I can't move. Hi. Oh god. Hi. Ah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know, uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean... Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Um... Let's do the checks. Yes, I need a tutorial. I can't believe there wasn't a pop-up for me making that basket. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Is that her? Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Um, Easy. hold on. Hold on. There we go. Got it. Jamming. Great. Now turn it off. Oh, I want to listen to it. It's jamming. Okay. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Phone line. There. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. It's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. <laughs> the Peggy button is yeah. the third one on the phone line. Press for Peggy. I'll it for you. Yes. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound? Okay. Do I blast the volume on everything? Sound blaster. Front of the oh, desk to the, right? to the right. Oh, the sound board. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Okay, yeah. Just the volume sliders left. I want to see what they all do. They should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All the way? Sliders should be right in front of I'm you. I'm doing that! Like, directly in front. Oh, is this it? All right. Okay, that seems to be all working. That looks we like a record. Captain. <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time. Is this like uh, game audio and this is real I audio? I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, okay. let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is guess that scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, you're live in three, two... Oh god, I'm going live. 12 o'clock. <laughs> Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls, 
tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show. I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and <laughs> guess that scream. He hates it. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, <laughs> play the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play Which the tape? tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Um, Forrest, which one? you do have the tape right. I have you know tapes, sir. Peggy, let's be real. This one? Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, um. I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. No. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. Where's and the tape you're the one player? At the mic, so... Uh. Really? Peggy, you want you want me to scream. You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Okay. Oh god. Ah Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Perturbed Yeti. Falling from a cliff, drowning. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Ooh, fried dough. delicious. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Love fried dough. Now... Here's some music while you get dialing. Some responses have a time limit. That is Last Processor with their hit song, 1980X. How do I put it back in the case? Oh God, Forrest, that was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Anyone gonna call in? Let's see what these sounds do. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Is there? Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. Getting right into 911 it. 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll buy it. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name, Sheriff Andrews, or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried.
tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Um... I'm gonna... I'm playing Forrest as real professional. That doesn't play into this choice, but... Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. <laughs> Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Why? Uh, I mean, it is a bad idea. I'm going to have to do it because that's the premise of the game, but it is a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots oh, yeah. of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Okay. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. I'm sus of you Peggy. Can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. She's creepy back there. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. Oh, God. I have an emergency. Right into it. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Um, another set of keys? There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. If there are of three course. officers. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Um... The officer's desk. Sheriff Matthews is dead. The killer probably took his personal effects. Have you looked around the officer's desk? That's the first place I checked. That was the first place I checked, too. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Okay. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. Okay. One second. Killer's not that smart, I guess, then. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So okay. far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Um, all right, I'm going to pause it for a second. Key is collected, records collected. Oh, uh, yeah, paper ball baskets made from desk. I did it. Um, I just want to pause because when I have something to say, because, you know, the voice acting doesn't give me a lot of time to do that. Um, I just want to say that I can already see that they're using the audio to the best effect in terms of horror, because it's very much, uh, like, leave it up to your imagination, what you can imagine is scarier than what you can see kind of thing. Like, even just her seeing the body and reacting to it, I feel like was even more disturbing than us actually seeing the sheriff's body. Okay, sidebar over, let's go back. Um... I'm a radio host, but I think we can handle it. Let's be confident. Yeah. 
That seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie. I already right. made a wrong dialogue Maybe choice. We can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. They ex Same. both accept on, it so fast. Man. There we go. Look, just gonna sit you in your office chair. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Um... It's the right thing to, It is. It's the right thing to do. Someone should contact someone on the outside. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh oh. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? Uh oh. How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? Is this what a for happened? real? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask, and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s, wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... what the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Copycat? Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Oh boy. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. That was probably wrong. My car is torn. We need to think. Um. Run for it. Hide in the station. Take a police cruiser. Um. Police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like you should take one of those. I. Yeah. Yeah. How am I supposed to get us to the car? They have to go outside. The whistling man is right there. Um. Sheriff Matthews' gun. He still had the keys on him. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I. Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend. Right. Himself. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Um. Weapon lock up. Any other weapons? Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's yeah. belt. Yeah, Deputy Martinez. The other one. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. Oh I God. One if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. He's wearing a mask. What should I take? He's wearing a mask, so the pepper spray the pepper spray won't work. Baton I can't see working. Let's go taser. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then Wait. Do you hear that? Yes. Like yes. ocean waves? But just to make sure we mean the same thing. What do you hear? Oh god, he's inside. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Oh boy. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again. You're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Okay. Well, good luck. 
Oh boy. Well, we didn't hear this her die. The pillar comes out of nowhere, isn't it? You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh boy. That's not. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Is it I'm Leslie? Call through. Oh boy. I'm... Hello, Forrest, Peggy. This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. I'm scared. She's gonna die. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez and the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, oh God! Get back. Oh no! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Tase him! Tase him! Tase him! Yeah! Take that! Yes. Did that work? Peggy raised your hands. That taser, definitely the right call. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowhere's bill, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two Three hours each way? Slightly less if I put my foot down. Uh, you... We'll do our best. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. All right. Deputy Martinez survived the whistling man. That's the achievement I just got. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm going to pause it there because, oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not well acclimated to horror. I'm enjoying this quite a bit, uh, but I I honestly don't know if my heart can handle more than one call per episode. We, we did it. We saved one person so far. That's good. That's good. The achievement pot means that someone could have died there. Deputy Martinez could have died there. Um, oh, there's a reset object button. So that's, is that just how I put the, the records back in their case? Okay. Ignoring that. Um, that went well. I made a few bad calls there, like with um, looking in the in the desks before looking for the sheriff, or like taking the sheriff's gun when we already knew that he had unloaded it. Um, that was a bad call, and it was probably pretty easy being the tutorial case and all. Uh, but <laughs> um, they probably gave us a lot of leeway. I don't know how well future calls are going to go, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, this is quite fun already. I love how this is like wiggling like like radio frequency. That's really cool. Okay. So next time we'll probably hear another caller and try to save them from the whistling man. Until then, I have been Mars, and I will be back with more Killer Frequency.